Good morning! It's Friday, October 7th. Thanks for starting off the weekend with Top Story. Like and subscribe below and then give the full World Watch show a try. I'm Taylor Abair, filling in for the Big Bash. Now this is Top Story. Hergé. If you don't know the name, that's okay. You'll probably recognize his work. He's the creator of Tintin. And this week, a museum in Madrid opened the largest ever exhibit of his work. This beloved comic is more than 90 years old, having been first published in 1929. Tintin looks boyish, but he's a fearless journalist and worldwide traveler. He spent decades going on adventures with his loyal pup, Snowy. Also, Captain Haddock, Professor Calculus, and Detectives Thompson and Thompson. Hergé's style of clean, realistic, and expressive drawings brought them all to life. Uh, that hypnotic drawing, those uniform colors, that trace of the line, anyone, a child, even if he can't read, opens a Tintin book and he is fascinated. At first glance, it seems like any other cartoon. But Tintin has lasted decades because of its strong storytelling, filled with characters that deal with real moral challenges. The Tintin series often drew on themes of politics, history, culture, and technology. He was very influenced by what was going on in the world. So Tibet was created and Lotus Bleu was created because there were events in those countries and the Chinese, the Japanese were invading China and the Chinese were invading Tibet like the Russians are invading Ukraine now. Hergé is considered the father of European comics and is a huge figure in the comic book world, both culturally and economically. Tintin has been translated into a hundred languages and more than 250 million copies have been sold worldwide. Hergé is actually a pen name. The artist was born Georges Remy. His experiences and pranks while growing up camping with the Boy Scouts helped inspire his first drawings. Museum visitors get a peek at Hergé's process through the years. Original Tintin drawings, sketches, newspaper cartoons, original paintings, photographs, and archived documents. It's all on display in Madrid till mid-February. worldwatch.news slash free video to watch the full show. You can try it free for a week. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Taylor Bear, And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.